One year ago, where grass has regrown and trees still stand. Everything was like dark. A fire that quickly swept through Balt Springs took 26 homes with it. There's nothing you can do about it. You just sit there and watch it. Just sit there and watch it burn down. It's coming back. Adut Kual says she feels anxiety from July 25th, 2022. Her two-year-old son was the first to notice something wrong. And then he was like, mommy, fire. He was playing with his toe. I was like, what do you mean fire? When Adut looked out the window, her fence had already burned down. The fire would eventually make it to the back walls of her house, but stopped there. A burn mark in the grass and a blackened fence post remind her of how scared she was that day. Oh my gosh, the house, the things that I have inside, the most important, the memories, you know, the pictures that we had sent back home, brought them here, and then everything will be gone. Homes on either side of Adutes were damaged or destroyed. His backyard caught on fire. Willie Brooks watched the fire from his house down the street. Just about everybody around was getting their water hoses and spraying their houses. He's glad some who lost their homes are rebuilding, but understands why others chose to leave completely. And it was going to be traumatic. Unless you was unhuman, you, you couldn't help but to feel, feel bad. In one year, a lot has changed, but what remains? The memory of what a hot, dry day can bring. It feel like it was yesterday. In Balch Springs, I'm Natalie Haddad.